Hello my dear students and welcome once again to Zanit Academy Online. My name is Sharukta Jaipuri. So today we will be doing sample paper 1 for biology ICSC class 10. And in the subsequent lectures we will come up with sample papers of other subjects. And this sample paper I have taken from this book. The bio link of this book I will give you in the description box. So this books have... 61 sample question papers of different different subjects for biology it has six so let's start we will be doing sample paper one today so section a all the questions are compulsory from this topic from this section sorry so name the following by choosing the correct answer to the questions from the given options do not copy the question write the correct answers only so section a all the questions, you don't have to copy the question. Anyways, you don't have to copy the question. Just write the number. Okay. For example, question 1, 1. Okay. In the same format, you will write the question number and then write the option. Okay. Correct answer. So, leukocytes are white blood corpuscles. Functions of leukocytes are. Come on, tell me the answer. What are the functions of leukocyte? Is it phagocytosis and inflammation? Is it formation of antibodies, transport or both A and B? Okay. So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is both A and B. Because phagocytosis and inflammation is also the function and formation of antibodies is also the function of leukocytes. So, in this particular uh, book, my dear children, so when they have given you the answers, Okay, they have given you the explanations as well. Right? So, the explanation is, leukocytes are white blood cells involved in body defense. Functions of leukocytes are phagocytosis, inflammation and formation of antibodies. So, how do you have to answer? You have to write like this, outside the margin, 1, 1. Okay? Now, inside the margin, you have to write D. This is enough. But if you have time, you can write the answer as well, both A and C, A and B. Okay, children, this is how you should be writing. So, this is the margin. Outside the margin, whatever is there, question 1, ka 1, this was there. Right? So, whatever number, question number has to be outside the margin, the answer has to be inside the margin. If you have time, then only you write this. Otherwise, just writing this is enough. Okay, next. Thirst, sweat and hunger are controlled by. Is it controlled by hypothalamus and midbrain? Hypothalamus or midbrain or cerebrum or medulla? Right? So, the answer is A, hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is a part of forebrain. It controls the hormonal secretion from endocrine glands. Hormones secreted from posterior pituitary gland are released through it. This is the center of hunger, thirst, body temperature control, love, hate, etc. Blood pressure, metabolism of water, sweat, anger, joy, etc. are controlled by it. So, this is the explanation given. You don't have to write the explanation, but I am explaining you. Sclera is converted by a thin transparent membrane called. So, is it retina, iris, ciliary muscle or conjunctiva? Yes, it is conjunctiva. Sclera is covered by a thin transparent, transparent membrane called conjunctiva. Okay, next question. Coordination and control of reflex action is a function of... So, read the question carefully. Coordination and control of reflex action is a function of whether it is A, pons, B, medulla, C, brain or D, spinal cord. Yes, tell me the answer. Yes, it is D spinal cord. Very good. So, I will read the explanation here. Posterior region of the medulla oblongata forms the spinal cord. Main function of spinal cord is coordination and control of reflex action. That is, it works as the center of reflex actions. Spinal cord, carry, spinal cord carries the wave coming out of the brain. Next question. I'll not Compression occurs in, does it occur in Bowman capsule, Hen Henley's loop, proximal convoluted tubule or distal convoluted tubule? 
So the answer is Bowman's capsule. Okay. Next, pH of normal urine is pH of normal urine is is it four point five to seven? Is it three to eight? Is it five to eight or seven to eight? Yes, my dear children, you all are correct. It is five to eight. Now, cranial nerves. Cranial nerves consist of twelve pairs of nerves, or found at dorsal surface of brain, or carries information from spinal nerve to other body part, or it is a part of central nervous system. Tell me. It is very very easy. It consists of twelve pairs of nerves. Direct questions are there. So it consists of 12 pairs of nerves. Yes, very good. Let's go ahead. The main function of pancreas as an endocrine gland in human body is. So read the question very carefully. They are asking you the main function of pancreas as the endocrine gland. Okay. So the answer is B. It, regu it regulates the blood sugar levels. Okay. This is the correct answer. So I'll read the explanation that they have given here. It regulates the blood sugar level. Sorry, regulate the blood sugar level. This is the main function of pancreas as the endocrine gland in human body. Pancreas is both an endocrine as well as exocrine gland. It secretes three hormones that is insulin, glucagon, and somatostatin. Or sabi ke function they rakhe hai, but insulin ka main function hai checks rise of sugar level in blood. So, B is the correct answer. Okay. In human brain, memory power is found in. In human brain, memory power is found in. Come on, tell me. Is it medulla oblongata, cerebrum, thalamus or cerebellum? Yes, it is cerebrum. This is the largest part of the forebrain. And it is the most developed part of the brain. And it acts as a center of wisdom, memory, willpower, movements, knowledge and thinking. It also functions as the analysis and coordination of muscular movement received from sensory organs. Now, jelly-like fluid present in the eye is called. Four options. Dekhe, apan ko pata chal jayega ki jelly-like fluid kaun sa hai. Pupil is not a fluid. Chamber cannot be a fluid. Retina cannot be a fluid. So it has to be a. It has to be a vitreous humor, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, next we will go to now section B. Now in section B you have to attempt any three questions. Okay, so I will read the question first and I will give you time to ponder over and then we will, I will discuss the answers as well. So explain the term endocrine glands, give two examples. It is a very easy and direct question. So endocrine glands, kya hote? they are ductless glands. Which pour the secretions directly into the blood. Okay. And what are the secretions? Hormones. They pour secretions known as hormones directly into the blood. Which are further transported to the target organs. Now examples. <coughs> now you are asked any two examples. You can write any two examples. Like thyroid gland, adrenal gland, pituitary gland, any of the glands. Okay. Give the location of hepatic portal. Vein and what is its function? So read the question very carefully. Location is asked and function is asked. So location is always whenever you are writing such type of questions in which there are two questions there. Okay, dono have to, you have to write in two different lines or you have to highlight so that the examiner knows that these are the two different answers. So this is how they have highlighted. See location they have given. Between alimentary canal and liver. Okay. This is the exact location of hepatic portal vein. Then leave a line or highlight the function. Hepatic portal vein drains the digestive tract and efficiently transport nutrients into the liver. Once these are processed, they are released in the normal circulation by liver through the hepatic portal vein. If you want to understand hepatic uh, circulatory system, you can go and watch my video of hepatic system I have explained that in very good detail with very good examples next given below is the diagram of human heart label the parts 1 to 7 okay so watch the part this is one the thick 
कपाट टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स इज दिस वन एंड सेवन वॉच इट केयरफुली ओके ना सो वन इज एटा राइट इट इज एटा टू इज लेफ्ट एट्रियम राइट थ्री इज लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल फोर इज डॉर्सल एटा ओके फाइव इज इंफीरियर वेना केवा सिक्स इज सुपीरियर वेना केवा एंड सेवन इज पलमोनरी आर्टरी Isn't it? Chalo. Now give biological terms for short-sightedness and far-sightedness. Also state how these defects can be corrected. So you have to give the other names for these two and also how these effect defects are corrected. So the biological name for short-sightedness is myopia, and far-sightedness is hypermetropia. Okay. Now myopia. can be corrected by using biconcave lens and hypermetropia can be corrected by using a biconvex lens just a second kids main door now next is mention difference between blood and lymph so blood and lymph you have to give uh, main differences three marks so three differences blood contains plasma rbcs wbcs and platelets whereas lymph contains only soluble parts of plasma blood contains albumin globulin and fibrinogen whereas lymph does not contain these substances blood is an opaque red colored fluid of alkaline nature whereas lymph is a colorless fluid resembling in other respects you can see here it's a colorless liquid colorless fluid resembling blood in other respects okay so you can write on your own you can formulate the differences on your own now give the location of pulmonary vein and state its function Okay, you have to locate and give the function. So location is it arises from the lungs and pours blood into the left auricle, and function it brings oxygenated blood from lungs to heart for circulation throughout the body. Okay, so where is it located? It arises from the lungs and pours the blood into the left auricle. That's the location, and function oxygenated blood from the lungs is brought by it and it is given to the heart for circulation throughout the body okay now draw a label diagram of human kidney as seen in a longitudinal section so long this diagram is very important okay longitudinal sectional diagram so this is how the diagram should look like okay this i have taken from the book but you have to practice such type of a diagrams with all the labelings try to see i would like to inform you guys that for icsc how you have to do the diagram has to be in one third of the page try to label all of the these in one side okay so if you want to label this you write it here okay the one or two on this side it's okay try to write all these names in capital letters in upper case theek okay? hai you have to write it in upper case or capital as you say always pay attention to this this should not be in cursive the labeling has to be in capital or upper case the diagram should cover at least one third of the page answer sheet ka one third of the page and all the labeling has to be on one side if it is not possible to bring all the labeling on one side few on the uh, other side is also okay now what is dialysis and under what condition it is carried out so process of removing removing nitrogenous waste from the body by artificial means is known as dialysis okay now under what condition is dialysis carried out so when both the kidneys fail to work the dialysis machine is used the patient's blood is led from the radial artery in his arm through the machine where the urea and excess salts are removed and the purified blood is returned to the vein in the same arm 
so from one from one arm the patient's blood is led from the radial artery into a machine where the urea and excess salts are removed and that purified blood is returned to the vein to a vein in the same arm okay in case of permanent damage to kidneys dialysis has to be repeated for about 12 hours twice a week <coughs> now question 4 give reason why a matured mammalian erythrocyte erythrocyte is rbc why a matured rbc lacks nucleus and mitochondria So why it lacks? Loss of nucleus give RBCs a wide concave shape and thus increases their surface area volume ratio so that they can absorb more oxygen. Right? I, had I have explained this to you in my earlier videos in a lot of detail. So you should go there and watch the circulatory system videos very nicely with 3D diagrams I have explained to you. Now, RBCs also do not have mitochondria. So that they cannot use oxygen for themselves. If they were mitochondria, they will use the oxygen for themselves only. But we don't want, we want the RBC to carry the oxygen to different body parts, isn't it? So all oxygen can be efficiently, all oxygen can be efficiently transported without any consumption by RBC and delivered to the tissues. Thus, for their efficient function, Mature mammalia, mammalian RBC lack nucleus and mitochondria. Right? Why nucleus? So that it can have a... Why there is no nucleus? So that it can have a biconcave shape. It increases the surface area. More absorption of oxygen can take place. Why not mitochondria? If there was mitochondria, it will use oxygen for itself. But we want the oxygen to be delivered efficiently to all the body parts for consumption. Right? So that is why if it lacks nucleus and mitochondria, it's a very good thing. Now, give the exact location of pituitary gland. This is the second part of question 4. Okay? So what is the exact location of pituitary gland? So a pituitary gland is a small projection about the size of a pea. Where it hangs? Where is the position? It hangs from the base of the midbrain below the hypothalamus you have to write the exact location okay now mention and describe the functions of any three hormones secreted by anterior pituitary so you have to name the code there is mention and describe the function of any three hormones which is secreted by anterior pituitary so you have to select three hormones Write their names and write their functions. So thyroid stimulating hormone, it activates thyroid to secrete thyroxine. Then growth stimulating hormone, essential for normal growth, it is also called somatotropin. Gonad stimulating hormone, gonadotropin hormone. So it regulates the activity of gonads like testes and ovaries. So these are the three hormones that are secreted by anterior pituitary now what is the contraction phase of auricles called when the auricles contract what is it called and name the valves which open during this phase so contraction phase of auricles is called auricular systole and the opening of vena cava and pulmonary veins close the blood veins close close the openings of vena cava and the pulmonary veins close and blood enters ventricles by passing through which valves? Tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve. Okay. So, no, basically, it, it this answer is not very clear here. You have to name the valve which open during this phase. So that, uh, see, auricles when contract, which valve open and the blood flows into the ventricle, you have to write like that. Okay. Properly. In what ways is yellow spot different from blind spot? This is a very important question. Yellow spot has more cones and less rod cells. Okay. Yellow spot has more cones and less rod cells. Blind spot has no photosensitive cells. That is why it is called blind spot. Isn't it? Because there are no photosensitive cells here. 
okay the cells that are there even if light falls on it it is not photosensitive so nothing will happen you won't be able to see now clear images formed at the yellow spot while no images are formed at the blind spot so try to make the pollen like this write yellow spot here and write blind spot here and then mention your answer or both these points you should mention there okay always next deficiency of vitamin a causes night blindness give a suitable reason to support the statement that why deficiency of vitamin a causes night blindness any reason to support see because the visual purple rhodopsin okay sorry rhodopsin rhodopsin is there in the rods okay of your retina rod cells so because the visual purple rhodopsin of the rods which are responsible for vision in dark is not formed in the absence of vitamin a so when there is no vitamin a these uh, rhodopsin is not formed the visual purple are not formed now given below is a diagrammatic representation of a defect of the human eye can you see these are parallel lines coming means they are coming up off from infinity or from a very far up objects and they are meeting it here not meeting on the retina so what is the defect mention two reasons for the above defect and state how the defect can be rectified okay so a b c are given in the question itself so it has to be outside margin third will be here whatever jo bhi question ka tha i think fourth or whatever then a b c also has to be outside the margin only okay now let's see the answers first let me rub this so this defect is hypermetropia which is far sightedness because images behind the retina why hypermetropia or far sightedness happens shortening of the eyeball from front to back or the lens becomes too flat you have to be very precise in giving the reasons these are directly given in your textbooks now how it can be rectified by using convex lens of appropriate power or focal length let's go ahead with the next question pancreas is both an exocrine gland and an endocrine gland give proper reason in support of the statement okay so we have to explain why exo and why endo <coughs> okay so pancreas is a heterocrine or mitocrine gland matlab ki dono hote hain as it contains two type of secretory structures <coughs> it has Islets of Langerhans, which secrete hormones insulin and glucagon, and these are transported by the way of blood. Okay, that is why it is endocrine. Now, a kidney that secretes pancreatic juice, which is transported by way of ducts, play a role in the digestion of. Sorry, I said opposite, है ना? Did I say opposite? So, this. pancreatic juice okay is transported by the way of duct okay that is why it is exocrine and this secrete hormones insulin and glucagon and these are transported by the way of blood they are directly secreted in the blood that is why it is endocrine okay children i made the uh, ppt for uh, this chapter also but i am not really getting time at all to record and give it to you so that you can study but i promise in the next week i will give it to you okay so let's go ahead what are where are the following located where is iris located and where is incus located so iris is located in the eye behind the cornea theek hai to kaha present hai first wherever there is a position asked okay you have to get the bigger position and then the exact position so you have to start from in the eye behind the cornea incus is in the middle bone of three bones of ear ossicles which is connected to malleus on one end and staples on the other end and is present in the middle ear of the human beings so you have to give both okay have you understood children now give the full forms of 
ACTH and FSH. Direct question again. ACTH full form is adrenocorticotropic hormone and FSH is follicular stimulating hormone. Now name the three layers of meninges. Innermost to outermost. So inner se start karke you have to say for outermost. So brain is protected by three membranous coverings called meninges which continue backwards into the spinal cord and these are pia meter, arachnoid and dura meter. Okay, actually only the name was asked. So even if you write only these three names, that's more than enough. If you have time, you can write that this is the innermost highly vascular membrane richly supplied with blood. And this is thin delicate middle layer giving a web like cushion. And this is the outermost of fibrous membrane. Okay, but since it was only name, you should write only the three names and nothing else. Now, complete the table by filling in the blanks 1 to 4. So, you have to check the essay, name of hormone, endocrine gland, function. So, read the function and try to find deposit extra glucose or blood as glycogen. So, glucose for glycogen, which is the gland which is converting and what is the name of the hormone? Then last, this one, growth hormone. Growth hormone is secreted by which gland and what is the function of that? That you have to write. So, these are the answers. So, insulin which is secreted by pancreas deposit extra glucose of blood as glycogen and growth hormone which is secreted by anterior pituitary. Okay, it is secreted by anterior pituitary anterior pituitary gland and what is its function its function is it promotes the normal growth of the whole body have you understood children so you have to write these numbers one two three four and then write the answers okay don't change the order of the numbers many a times i've seen ki kids agar yaha pe one likha hua hai, they write a insulin the examiner will not check if you change the format of the question numbers okay so that was all about our sample paper one so i have given you the link of this particular book from which this sample paper was taken so you can go ahead and buy this for acing your preparation for icsc class 10 uh, this is a highly recommended book from my side i will also be doing videos of sample papers of one one sample paper each of other subjects as well Okay, so till then, keep the learning on. Bye-bye my dear students.